City. I'm Father Sebastian, the master fang smith here. I got Carlos here. He thinks his name's Lewis, but that's not really <laughs> important. Today we're going to go over fang care rules. Now, one of the most important things about fangs is to follow the rules of the fang club. Now, there are other groups called fang club, but this is just a joke. Fang club is a joke and a spinoff on Fight Club. And what is the first rule of fang club? Don't eat with your fangs! Because if you eat with your fangs, you're not going to get a natural bite, and it could potentially pull the suction of the tooth off, break the seal, and you can crunch your tooth. And it's not very fun for you or the fangsmith, especially if you're stuck when your fangsmith is just visiting. The next rule of fang club, do not sleep with your fangs in. Very, very bad idea. And the reason why that is, is because you could swallow them while you're sleeping, and you will be enjoying a wonderful 24 hours before you go looking in the porcelain vampire throne uh, for them, and that is not fun going through, nor it is glorious or glamorous as a vampire should be. Now the next rule of Fang Club is sex is better with your fangs in. Very, very important. Do you agree? 100%. All right. So sex is very important for vampires. It's a very important thing to have lots of sex with your fangs if you're in the sex. If you're not in the sex, then you're kind of out of this third rule. The next rule of Fang Club is definitely you can smoke with your fangs. Smoking is completely fine, no problem. Uh, smoke all you want, the fangs will actually probably match your tooth color after them. Now, the next rule of Fang Club is alcohol tastes a lot better with fangs. Vampires actually drink more than hip hop parties in New York. It's actually really funny. All the club owners want the vampire parties, and that's really an epic experience. So when we go to a club and we say, oh yeah, you know, steampunks don't drink, fetish people don't drink, but vampires drink. The next thing that's interesting about it is, box, keep your fangs in your box, whether you have a screw top, a contact lens container is a very good thing, uh, but make sure that you keep them in your box when you're not wearing them, and especially in your pocket because a lot of times moms or girlfriends or people that don't know will find the box, go, oh, what's this, and throw it in the garbage, you know, bam. That's one of the biggest complaints, kind of like a retainer in high school. Then one of the other things that you should be concerned about is not putting water in the box because bacteria will grow and the fangs will become perfectly beautifully black. The little black spots that happened to me my first time. And also be very careful not to drop them down the sink while you're putting them on for the first time or removing them in the mirror. That happened to me. And my girlfriend's dad had to go down and open the sink, and that really sucked. So be careful with them in these things, and your fangs should last you a long time. Also a very important thing to clean them, just put them on your teeth and brush them with a non-whitening toothpaste. So that's Father Sebastian's Fang Care Rules. If you have any questions, please do email me at the link below. Rock and roll.